Hi everyone, welcome to, unfortunately, episode number 10 of 10 of Schnapps Fest, right here on Thursday. Thursday, I started the, uh, the mini-series with 10 beautiful bottles of Schnapps, and with regret, I haven't got any left. Oh, um, we got the 10th and final review. Uh, this series has been very, very kindly sponsored by Martin and Andy of the Wacky Schnapps Brothers, based in the beautiful land of... Austria, and it's been an absolute pre pleasure and a privilege to drink your schnapps and do some reviews and have a bit of have a bit of fun on the way. Now, last of the reviews is their chili and chocolate. This tips the scales at 35% ABV. Last one, unfortunately. Um, this was the first one for for the guys as well when they brewed when they brewed it. And we want to give a special, special mention to a good friend of uh, of Martin's, whose name is Trevor, Mr. I'm a tree. Right, I'm cute. Um, I believe it's his 50th birthday this year, and he's looking forward to it. I bet he is. Um, but going back to the schnapps, um, it's an essence, as the label shows, it's a chocolate and homegrown jalapeno chilies in it. With a special ingredient too, if I can guess it. That's, that sounds a bit of a challenge. I never want to shirk away from a challenge. Um, and I say, unfortunately, this is the last one that we get to review, but um, Mrs. Brewbear looks as upset as, why, as what I am because this has been an absolute honour and a privilege to try all of these drinks. Right, as you know, of course, I've got a co presenter who is Mrs. Brewbear. That's her. There you go, love. So this is chili and chocolate. It's quite vaporous off that. Mm. Definitely got the chi um, the chocolate on the nose. Right, it's going for a taste. Cheers, everyone. Martin, Andy, thank you. I think it's amazing how smooth that is. That is smooth. You get. A, I've got the chilli now kicking in on the way down. Um, I think chilies are measured on what they call is it the Scoville scale. Is it Scoville scale? Um, which measures the amount of oomph or heat that a uh, chilli's got. Jalapenos are uh, you know, beautiful in on the land of Mexico, I think. Um, I'm not sure what's in on the back. I don't know if it's maybe mixed up with something like um, what do you call it, like devil's blood, isn't it? That's um, um, that's like the oil, isn't it? That's, that's pulled from the seeds of the of chilies, like ghost chilies, as the things called devil's blood. You watch something like Man v Food when he eats some weird and wonderful stuff that makes him you know, sort of like a Tom and Jerry cartoon with smoke coming out of his ears. That. There is something, I, I can't quite put my finger on, on what it is. Get that chilli on the way down. I mean, that is lovely. I mean, we love chillies, to be honest. We can um, eat until the cows come home. And that, that is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to have to ask Martin um, very, very nicely to see what the, the secret ingredient is. That is absolutely beautiful, which are just like, in my opinion, the other nine in this series. Mrs. Brewbear, number 10, last one, what do you reckon? Um, good, bad or ugly? Well, just like all the other nine, Yeah. I think good is a little bit of a, it doesn't do it justice. Yeah. They're all, out of 10, they're all 15s. You'd be quite happy if you bought any of those, you'd be quite happy with your purchase. They are just... Perfect, and, and you, they really do do yeah. well, amazingly well. I'll go along with that. That is good, doesn't do it, do it justice. If you purchased a bottle of any of these from a supermarket, airport, off license, wherever it might be, and you paid top dollar for a litre bottle or half litre, whatever it might be, whatever you paid, you would not feel done by what you paid because that is absolutely fantastic stuff. It is you know, a, an absolute art form to brew things like this. Um, I'm, I brew um, 
beer, you know, beer, stouts, brown ale, blah, blah, blah. This is, you know, something that I would not have a clue how to do it properly. And this is better than anything I have tasted commercially. And I've drunk a lot of you know, schnapp, corn, blah, blah, blah over the years um, in um, UK and also on trips to Germany. And this knocks me out of the ballpark. Guys, fantastic brewing. I feel so humble and privileged that you sent me these. Um, and I'm just really, really, I shan't swear on YouTube, but I'm really both that unfortunately this is the last one I've got. So on behalf of myself and also the good Mrs. Brew Bear, it's good night from me. And it's thank you from me. I was supposed to say it's good night from her, like on the two Ronnies. And it's good night from her. It's good night from her. Guys, thank you very, very much. Um, and as always, be seeing you.